Hello, students. Let's read this problem together. Troy attended a meeting where they had sandwiches. He had the following options. For bread, he could choose wheat or white. For cheese, he could use American, cheddar, or goat cheese. For meat, he could have ham, turkey, or beef. The list below shows some possible outcomes for one type of bread, one type of cheese, and one type of meat. Which table displays the, all the other possible outcomes for one type of bread, one type of cheese, and one type of meat? So all the other possible outcomes. So first, let's figure out how many total possible outcomes we should have. So we know that we can use the fundamental counting principle and we have bread, cheese, and meat. For bread, we have two choices. For cheese, we have three choices. And for meat, we have three choices. So if we multiply two times three times three, we get two times three is six, and six times three is 18. So we should have 18 possible outcomes or possible combinations. So let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four. I'm actually gonna number them here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And so we should have 18. So if I do 18 minus 12 that have already been posted here, then I know that there are six missing. So I am missing six possible outcomes. So I'm looking for a choice that has six outcomes. Letter A has one, two, three outcomes. Letter B has three outcomes. Letter C has one, two, three, four, five, six. And letter D has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know that A and B do not have enough outcomes. So it's either C or D. According to the fundamental counting principle, we are missing six outcomes. But now we need to make sure that we get the correct outcomes. So let's look at the list that they have given us and see if we can find what's missing. So we have wheat with American, and cheddar, and we have ham. We have white with American or cheddar with ham. So it looks like we didn't have any goat cheese. Do you see that? So we're missing the goat cheese. I'm gonna write right here, make myself a little reminder. What about the goat cheese? Okay, let's look at the next column of the list. So I have wheat, wheat, and again, American and cheddar, but this time with turkey. And we have the same thing. We have white bread with American or cheddar with turkey. Once again, we have no goat cheese. I think we found out what we're missing. So let's take a look at the last one. We have wheat, wheat, American or cheddar with beef. 
beef. And then the last ones we have here are white bread with American or cheddar with beef. So it looks like we're missing all our combinations with goat cheese. So we would have to repeat the exact same thing that we have up here in the list, but replace the cheese with goat. So if we look at letter C, we have goat cheese everywhere, but look right here, cheddar. Did we even have cheddar as an option? Yes, we did, but let's take a look at this right here. White cheddar beef, we have it already right here. White cheddar beef. This is not missing. This is already in the list. So this is a repeat. And we don't want repeats. So that is not correct. Now if we look at letter D, we have all of them with the goat cheese right here. Goat cheese that was missing for everything with wheat or white with both types of bread also with each kind of meat ham or turkey or beef so the one that has six possible outcomes missing. We found out we had six possible outcomes missing because there was supposed to be a total of 18 and the list already had 12. So six were missing, so that left C or D, but we see that in C, they're missing one because they repeated white cheddar beef, which was already in the list. And so our correct answer is D.